Hey guys, welcome back to the Travis Heath Racing Channel. Yeah, that's right. We did have a little, you know, racing on the end. That is now going to be the new name of the channel. We did, are changing up some things, but that is locked in for now and probably forever. So that is kind of be a more cohesive name for the channel, Instagram, racing side, car side. So we decided to go with that. That being said, today we are building the shop tables. So we, we are building two shop tables for the back of the cars in the section back there. Yonder ways you cannot see because it is messy because we don't have tables to help us organize. So here are the plans. We'll get into that later. But first, we are doing our first ever Facebook giveaway. We decided to do it on Facebook. We've been pushing Instagram. We've been pushing YouTube on the YouTube channel, but we haven't really done anything with Facebook so we have a page that you can go and like it's actually an athlete page um, but you can go and like that we'll be posting to Facebook if you are on Facebook which most of our us are and grandparents surely are too but if you go on there um, I'll actually put the post right here the link will be in the bio if you see this post you can read through it there's things that you need to do to win and the winner gets that was a horrible drum roll. The Wimmer, the, the Wimmer, the Wimmer gets, the winner gets uh, $25 is, you know, 25 smackers. That'll go a long way in Corona season. And then a sticker pack from Travis Heath Racing. So we'll give you assorted stickers that you could take, put on stuff, um, and show all your friends that you got $25 for winning the giveaway. So I'll put the link in the description below. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to like the Facebook page. You're going to follow us on Instagram at Travis Heath Racing. And then you're going to subscribe to the YouTube channel. After you've done all three of those, you'll drop down into the comments of that post. Type in done. It has to be done by August 10th. So that's two weeks. Uh, we feel like that's appropriate time for 40 subscribers. Two weeks to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube and we'll pick a winner. If we miss that 100 deadline, we'll probably pick a winner for something way smaller, maybe just one sticker. But if we hit that 100 mark, we're doing $25 and a sticker pack sent to you for free. We won't even take the shipping out of the $25. You get all of it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that going. We appreciate you for enter entering. We appreciate you for following. It's because of you that we can do stuff, and if this giveaway goes good, we'll keep on keeping on, and they'll just get better and better and better as we grow and grow and grow. So thank you so much, but now, back to the stuff that matters. All right, so we're back at the saw. We have the print here that I drew up in Fusion 360. This came off of a 3D model I did. Um, I am loving the experience with Fusion 360. I've only previously used AutoCAD, and dreamed about using Mastercam. So at Michael Austin Industries, where I work on a day-to-day -day basis, I've been given the privilege to start uh, using and working with Fusion 360, which I'm forever grateful for. Ended up getting a seat, a student seat as well, so I can draw at home. But this print, if you want to come in here, this print right here um, is the table itself. So this is the 3D layout. It's going to be a stainless steel top. We had flame cut. The, it's going to be a top brace, bottom brace for those two shelves, four legs. And then we're going to put a plywood top so we can fit, uh, use it as a shelf and a work station on top with the, with the flame cut piece. And then we could put tubs or anything under below. This is the underside where you have the bracing and one brace in the middle for the top piece. All in all, what this looks like in material um, is basically pieces of two by two square tubing cut to length. So we have our four legs, which we're building two tables, so it'll be eight legs. Then we have our cross pieces here, which is four per table, eight total. And then you have the, the width pieces, which are here, which there is um, seven per table. So add that all up together, that's a lot of cutting. But once we get all of it cut and prepped, which in this video we'll probably just get it cut, um, we'll get it prepped and welded together and we'll bring you along for that process. Um, it's probably gonna be a couple of videos, so um, just stay tuned. 
we're going to do kind of a more of a montage after this of cutting the pieces laying them down um, all in all this is quite a lengthy process so it's not really in depth other than measuring twice cutting once so far we are doing good on that aspect we're cutting it out of two 40 foot pieces of two by two square tubing it's funny the table which I forgot to tell you the outer dimensions is going to be 60 inches wide by 24 and the frame is going to be um, four less than that so it's going to be 56 by 20 you wouldn't think all that tubing would add up but it's actually adding up to 80 feet worth of tubing to make the just two tables so it's kind of crazy uh, but these will be nice to be tucked away be able to organize with the workstation shelf and then obviously room underneath to store something so hope you're enjoying this if you're looking to build your own tables definitely this will be a guide to how to thank you so much be sure to go and enter in that giveaway the link is down below it is not too late by august 10th we're going to get to 100 subscribers and one of you is going to get a sticker pack and 25 smackaroos thank you see you later